Hey everybody, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at Everest Home Edition, a free system information utility. It's not on the screen yet, bear with me, that'll all come clear to you in just a few seconds. Everest, the company that created it, sold this a few years back. Support for it ended in November of 2010. The new product is ADA64. They are all shareware. They contact us about taking this offline and we got permission to keep it online so that it's here. It's still a very effective utility, however you might run into an occasional bug. You need to install the program. Once you're done, you start it up, whether it be through your programs or whether it be through your desktop. And as you can see, it's got everything here broken down into categories like many other programs. But you may run into an occasional bug, which should be popping up here any second. There it is. And as you can see, I can simply close that. It's not going to affect how it's running you're still going to be able to come in here and see everything you want you can break everything down and open the subcategories come into your summary there's your um, operating system it's not recognizing service packs anymore it's got my direct decks although I do believe that's incorrect I'm pretty sure I'm up above nine now uh, the computer name the username CPU type as you can see it's got a good bit of information you can click stuff like your video card and head for the driver download while those links still work but at least it can identify them for you to find them and I think you're gonna find that it's pretty thorough as far as finding out what's on your system minus the motherboard and maybe the BIOS on the newer machines however this does detect my hard drive controllers and similar even though it doesn't recognize the motherboard itself as you can see here it's totally unknown um, another nice thing too let's say we came in here to the summary and this is what we wanted to remember you can click favorites here and simply add this to the favorites and at any time you can come back to this tab and save the things that you want to know about and come right back to them under your favorites as you see I saved the summary I saved optical drives earlier now you would think this would be enough but the cool thing about Everest is you can also do a little benchmarking. You could compare this with some of your friends and kind of see what kind of speeds you're pulling. Uh, you can also compare it next to other machines that are very similar. Memory read, memory write, memory latency. Yeah, it gets you a little geeky with it, you know. Um, beyond that, again, this is very similar if you've gone into control panel system uh, and details. You can find pretty much everything there you can find here as well. And it's just a shortcut to it all. It's going to help you find your drivers, etc. We're pretty happy about it because we're able to keep this online. It's very effective. It's just as good as probably any other system information utility out there. We're at 2.8 million downloads. Just be aware that it may not necessarily pick up everything on your machine. And you may hit a couple little bugs. But it's free. It's effective. You can save your reports here with a wizard or with a quick simple save it to text or HTML you could take those and email them you can change your interface a little bit I mean for free I don't think you can go wrong that's it for today we'll see you next time thanks